Okay, guys, it's that time. Uh, the Gen 3 ZX10 has got the classic broken shift lever, uh, shift shaft, so you can't change gears easily. I can get it all up to sixth gear, uh, you know, with you know, a little foot trickery by kind of pressing down first and then quick up and kind of forward at the same time and you can get it to change gears when you're out driving around uh, just sitting in the garage you can't get it in any other gear other than first uh, and neutral that's it um, for whatever reason but if you're out on the road and it's moving you can you can get it to get it to change gears um, so anyway I've been riding it for way too long like that it's time to fix it uh, I got the Abistans set up um, so uh, hopefully I'll make it a lot easier. I'm gonna drain just a little bit of oil out, do the whole procedure, and then I'm gonna change the oil. Um, I'm just gonna drain a little bit out for right now, just to get it to make sure when I open up the clutch cover, it's not pouring out. Yeah. So uh, I've never done this before. So yeah, if you've not done this on your bike and it needs to be done, you're scared to do it. Um, you know, I'm not too excited about it either. So first thing you need to do is. Uh, take your clutch cable off Get that lined up there um, Make sure you got it lined up so you're not pinching it That undone that's your first step so it's going to allow this to maneuver around a little bit more and be more free. Of course, you're going to take that bracket off on all these bolts. So um, I am not going to do try and hold the camera and do all this at the same time. Uh, as much as I'd like to, I don't have a tripod or anything like that. Plus, I think the video would be so long, uh, it would be crazy. So uh, anyway, the uh, next step is going to be to start taking a little bit of oil out, in my case, because this stand allows the bike to lean this way a little bit. So... All right, so I got the bolts out. You got them on the template on this particular Gen 3. Uh, your two bolts that hold on your clutch bracket, uh, if you look on the back side, uh, number one and number seven on your tightening sequence are the longer bolts. Not that that's uh, really all that important. It's probably useless information for you, but just thought I'd point it out. Um, I had a really weird bolt on number 10. It was hard to get out. There's some some kind of funk all over it uh, looks like oxidation of some sort so I'm gonna have to clean that up before I put that back in all right all right just took the clutch cover off um, I just kind of set that pin over there and twisted that up and put that up there I had a little bit of an oil spill and I knew that was gonna happen because the bike once again is leaning this way towards me so a lot of oil is still stuck in that part uh, in the bottom below the clutch basket um, it wasn't a whole lot, but you know, made a little bit of mess. Clean that up, uh, and then you're gonna take a uh, looks like a, I believe it's a five millimeter. Yeah, it's about right. These should be tightened in at uh, I think uh, ten newton meters, so they shouldn't be too hard to get out. But you want to kind of do one side at a time, just kind of work your way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I took those out you can see you know you're gonna have some that come out as a whole and you're gonna have some that still have the uh, uh, the rest of it stuck in there that's fine you can go ahead and pull yeah yeah hold on a minute. I gotta put the camera down all right so you're gonna need a 27 millimeter I believe it was socket you're gonna need a good impact guys uh, this thing's an Ingersoll it's like 1250 foot pounds something crazy like that it it, uh, it it took it a few seconds to, to knock that nut off but uh, you're also going to need a new nut so make sure you purchase a new nut uh, it's really important anytime you take your clutch uh, apart and uh, take the basket out you, you should replace the nut uh, it's got a little little pinch in it on each side it looks like the nut's been dropped or hammered or something but that's it's made to kind of pinch the end of that shaft this this acts a lot like um like an axle going through a hub bearing in a car so you know that nut's going to be on there really tight uh so but anyway uh, i just took the front uh first clutch plate off and metal ring and then i put this little guy right there 
just stuck him right in there, pressed on it and held it in place so nothing got binded and uh, popped that sucker off. So there you go. That was actually the, the thing that I was most worried about. Uh, so I'm glad I got that done. I'll keep moving forward here. Okay. Just took the clutch basket out. Um, uh, you gotta, I actually took that whole piece out, the inner basket, all one big chunk. <laughs> Just, yeah, you're probably not supposed to do that. But uh, anyway, that's the way I did it. So, um, then uh, as far as the bearing here, I just, yeah, I left the bearing on there. I pulled the basket forward and then I just took uh, uh, one of those extensions for a, a quarter inch socket and I just pushed the bearing back and then popped the basket off. So um, here we can see the infamous uh, shift shaft. Um, crazy enough, it doesn't appear to be, uh, I can't really see if there's a crack or where it's at, but uh, Hopefully replacing this is going to fix my problem, other than I'm going to be pissed. Sorry. Sorry I didn't video that, but uh, um, this is uh, the shift shaft. Uh, and once you undo the other side, you basically just take off a 10 millimeter bolt, pull your um, shifter lever off. Um, there's a circlip or a... Uh, little uh, spring-loaded uh, washer thingy, I forget what they call them. Um, but anyway, you get your uh, snap, oh, snap ring, yeah, that's what it is, snap ring. Um, and it looks like, a, I think it's an external snap ring. Anyway, you take that off, and then you come back over here, and once you have the basket off, you don't have to take anything else off. It's beautiful. You just pull this son of a gun right out. Um, you've got a little washer th slidey bushing thing here that holds that spring on there um i'm probably gonna replace that while i'm at it i have all the parts i even have a new seal but i don't know i don't really want to mess with the seal <laughs> all right let's get to work okay this is a new one you can see it's uh it's a lot more bulky when it comes down to here so i don't know that i didn't see any cracks in the other one it, i've heard it can have a slight bend in it give you the shifting problems uh, I certainly <laughs> I certainly hope that's the case with mine because it wasn't cracked um, but uh, yeah so there's that uh, little metal bushing that slides on here I got a new one of those and a new spring here uh, the spring you got to separate there and, and pop on there it's really not hard I actually just took some regular old pliers and just rested it there and then just spread it apart and it popped popped right on real, real simple so anyway we're gonna go ahead and shove this in there I'm gonna just grab a little bit of oil somewhere and just kind of slather that end up so as it goes through the seal over there hopefully I don't tear it all right wish me luck okay <laughs> I swear if this is the only problem with it I'm gonna be mad because I just did a lot of work but it needs to be upgraded anyway so when I <clears throat> took the shifter off the other side, this is the washer. See the little circlip or snap ring goes on that side. Look how, look at the impact that took from when this kid wrecked this bike. See, I bought this bike wrecked and it had been laid down on the left side. So what had happened is the ground had pushed <laughs> pretty hard. Obviously, my good Lord, on uh, the uh, shifter side of the bike, pushed it, you know, that way, and dented the washer. Because I, I ordered a new washer. I thought maybe the washer was supposed to be concave like that. Nah, it's supposed to be flat. What? Uh, I probably could have just changed the washer and would have solved my problem because that was allowing a lot of play in the shaft. So, anyway, I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. Okay, so. Um, got everything kind of put back together here. I'll show you how I rig this up. This has to be tightened to 130 newton meters, which I, I don't know, foot pounds. It's probably like 90 something. Anyway, I, I <laughs> uh, this thing's really hard to hold and, you know, <laughs> get to 130 newton meters. I mean, so I, I just took up a little strap <laughs> down to there and this worked beautifully. If 
I hadn't have done that, I couldn't do it because this is not a deep nut. And if you look at it, it is very easy for the socket to slip off the head. So you're trying to keep the wrench straight and fight with it. You don't have time to hold this. So unless you got a buddy that's going to come over and help you, uh, this is a good way to do this. So anyway, uh, so I've gotten to this part. Now I just got to put these little guys back in here. And uh, these will be tightened down to 11 newton meters and the cover bolts are 10 newton meters so all right let's get her done uh oh all right guys it's end of a long day uh the project is done um and it shifts great now i took it for a drive i changed the oil and filter and stuff and uh, uh you know it took me a good part of the day i'd say probably four hours to do the whole job uh, yeah, I'm not very fast at it because I've never done it before. But, um, you know, I had to run to the store and get some more oil because, of course, you know, you're always one quart short, uh, which which sucked because I was itching to fire it up and, and see if it would shift to the gears okay. Uh, but it does. I just took it for a spin. And it's a uh, super tight clutch. I mean, it just shifts so good and so smooth. It's just uh, it's so great. And, uh, I'm, you know, I've been riding it uh, ever since I bought it with the messed up shift lever and uh finally uh got the gall to go ahead and fix it uh figured the best time to do it was when it needed an oil change uh you know i don't know if it was the uh if it was the shift shaft that was actually bent or that stupid washer which you can't really see right there Let's see if i can get some light on it no nope, i can't uh but that washer that's actually right down there behind there uh right after the uh sir clip or uh, uh, snap ring was uh, bent pretty badly um, but I, I, I couldn't see anything wrong with the old shift shaft I really couldn't uh, yeah. that's it right here I mean I don't see I mean physically it looks it's good the welds not broken I mean I've seen ones where they're cracked um, you know could it have been that stupid washer I don't, I don't know let me know what your thoughts are what you think uh, I think I threw that washer away because it was so badly bent no there it is you can see that sucker man it's just like <laughs> I mean dude when he wrecked that bike before I bought it he uh yeah, definitely laid it down hard on that side. You know, so, anyway, all is well with the world. It is uh, working, and that's all that matters. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't much of a tutorial. It was more about uh, me tackling something that uh, I was really uncomfortable doing. And I uh, was out of my comfort zone. And just to help others who might be in the same situation with these particular bikes which have problems with the shift shafts to so just go ahead and do it it's not that hard but you do need some special tools like i said impact wrench super super handy dandy get you one of these suckers right here because you're going to need it to bust that uh that, that nut off uh, and make sure you also have the uh clutch basket tool ebc i mean that's like 20 bucks why not buy it you know it could save you uh you know four or five hundred bucks on a new clutch basket so uh definitely worth it abba stand oh my gosh can't uh can't can't uh, live without that thing that thing's just uh an awesome beast and i actually bought it the whole thing for like 400 bucks and it came with the kit with all the adapters every single one of them uh the professional kit youtube channel he was selling it and uh picked it up Drove out to uh, Georgia to pick that bad boy up. So, have a stand worth every penny of it. I would have paid a thousand bucks for that thing. That thing is just freaking awesome. So, love it, love it, love it. It's the only stand you need. It'll fit every single bike. It even fits my dirt bike. I found a couple adapters in there and I've worked on the dirt bike using it. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Leave me some comments what you think. Was it the shift shaft or was it that silly washer? I don't know. So, just let me know what your thoughts are. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye bye.
Somebody else got a train horn on their Miata. I do.